Okay, it's Mick again. It's part two tutorial. Um, this top is called a spoil board. Um, this is MDF. It's very common to use it. It's relatively cheap. Um, why do you need a spoil board? What it does is you can screw it down, um, you can do different configurations. This one has T tracks T in the table, so I just utilize these T tracks, space my MDF in between. So you would get 3 quarter inch MDF, screw it down, whatever pattern design you want, um, then you machine the spoiler board. So what you do is you would get a um, just look in. you would get the largest router bit you have. I use a two inch um, cutter. It goes really fast and um, you would machine a very thin layer off the top of the MDF. This ensures that the top of the MDF is parallel to um, the gantry because if you're going to machine it with the router bit then you would, uh, you would need to do that. So say we have, well, the ways you can machine the spoiler board, you can do it multiple ways. You can draw a rectangle in your design software and um, lower the bit to the top of the table, um, set Z0 on the table, or you could um, machine the spoiler board via G-code and, and type your own uh, programming your own tap file. I do it normally using a tap file. I write my own code. It was an idea that a friend of mine told me. Works every time. Very simple. You don't need any design software. So um, that is what I do lately. So the board is machined. We've just machined it. What do we do next? Well, the next step is I'm going to go over to um, I'm going to lower the bit to the router table. I already set it up. CD zero and lower it to the table. What I like to do, and I probably should have put my paper under first. Yep. What I like to do is to place a piece of paper under the under the bit and um, lower it to the bit on top of the paper. So this paper it's it's it's, it's relatively tight. The paper is about four thousand thick. So that's just what I like to do. Obviously when you machine the spoiler board you actually have to touch it but in this example we have machined the spoiler board what do we do next? Well the next step is since this machine is equipped with a tool length measuring switch this is what they call an FTC option fast tool change on a cam master machine I, we have to tell it what the the distance from the top of the switch to the spoiler board that value gets stored in WinCNC then every time you do a tool change it will calculate the difference when you put the when when the bit hits the switch if you put a long bit in then it knows how long the bit is it's, it's an offset for the bit we'll do that in a minute so anyway I've got the bit on the table um, I'm just going to flip you back over to the screen again and that way you can see what I'm doing. 